thanks to Joe Biden's decision to escape from Afghanistan without ensuring that American citizens or weaponry would be prioritized for evacuation, tens of thousands of Americans are currently being persecuted by the Taliban. At the same time, the rest of the world is still reeling with the aftermath of a Chinese unleashed SARS type coronavirus. If you really want to feel like we're living in the beginning of the 21st century all over again, just consider that we are currently suffering through the worst border crisis in exactly 21 years. Border crossings reported by Border Patrol in the month of July finally crossed the 200,000 migrant per month mark this past July. And this is no ordinary migrant crisis. It's one in the middle of a pandemic, a pandemic that the Biden administration has assured us is so serious that we must return to having even the fully vaccinated wear and or masks. But how seriously do they take it on the border? Surely it's no coincidence that the highest rate of hospital overflow is being reported in the Rio Grande Valley. And that comes as a little surprise, not just because of the seasonality of COVID, which will eventually become like the flu as people get vaccinated, but rather because when migrants at the southern border have been offered the coronavirus vaccine, 30% have rejected it. And unlike migrants coming from any other country, on tourism, for work, with visas. We are letting migrants into the country without requiring a proof of a negative coronavirus vaccine. To put that into perspective, the Biden administration is allowing Americans to be raped, pillaged, and murdered by the literal Taliban in Afghanistan, while allowing people with no legitimate claim to seek asylum into the United States. And furthermore, this is not open borders in a right-wing talking point sense of hyperbole. This is open borders as a matter of practice, as a matter of policy. Even in the worst of the Obama years, migrants would be caught and released into the country with a court date. But Axios, no one's idea of a right-leaning publication, has found that migrants, at least 50,000 of them, have been released into the U.S. without a court date. And what percentage of them abide by the honor system that we are now using in the hopes that they will report to ICE? 13%. The idea of national sovereignty is obviously not terribly important to the Biden administration, but at minimum, we would protect American citizens. And at minimum, we would have a border. Not true on either count, and this is just according to the president who's AWOL on vacation at Camp David.